have another special set of beautiful inklings and cute little girls that we all love and adore. Today we have the Good Smile Flame Collection 400DX, the Splatoon Edition, the Special Edition. Splatoon 1 and 2. This is the Figmas of the Inklings. Um, I love Splatoon so much. Oh my god. So, these, this is actually the Figma set that comes in too. The box is a little slightly open. Kiana, this is Kiana's figure like I was trying to say a second ago. She got really excited. And this just came in today. So, she can't wait to pose and put together. There are so many accessories in here. I cannot believe this box is, it's pretty big for just two Figmas. So you see all the parts here, every pose you can give them the rollers, the her dueling pistols, everything. I forget the names of the actual gun. But yeah, here is the back side. Here's this side. I'm so cute. The one I really wanted this and I didn't get it. Um this girl. I really want her. My character kind of looks like like that. Has the same hairstyle, same color, hair and everything. This is inside the box. Isn't that amazing? I love the art in Splatoon so much. Splatoon is an amazing game. I'm kind of late to the party though. I never played the first one, but I played the second one, which I have on my Switch. Then of course, we have the front like you saw. And then the panel open here. Then the side here. I love this box, it's so cute. And yeah, like we saw. So we're gonna be doing another unboxing, another review of this these of these two beautiful girls. I'll be right back with them out the box. And we're back guys. Um so I took the girls out of their box and holy crap, there's almost like too much to there's like a lot to go over right now. I'm gonna do what I did in the same video before. I'm gonna take them out, show you all the pieces. And I'm going to put them in some poses so you guys can see what they look like in those poses. There's a lot of accessories. So these are everything that it comes with here. Plus bags on bags of here. So, okay. So what I'm going to go over first will be their bases and the pegs that hold them to get to the base. So you have two, of course. Here's the base and the peg that holds them together. You have two of those. Two of those here. Then you have hand pieces, two sets of hand pieces. So you have this set here, and then you have another. Well, there's only two two hands here, but there's an extra bag, some little sticky pegs, and another set just to hold extra hands in. So you have two of those. That's that. Then you have two Figma bags just to put all your accessories in. So you don't have to use these. Well, of course, for me, I keep myself in the packaging. I don't ever really use these bags. So then, now we're gonna go over one set first. Put the girls back, and we're gonna focus on this one right here. So first of all, maybe I just take them all out. There's so much. As you saw earlier, we do have the hat. Hats, beanie, baseball hat. We also have the splat step. There's two pink and orange. We also have her little little shooting gun. I don't remember what this one is called. We don't really use it. Then one little bombs that they throw. It's really cute. It's like a little like water balloon kind of thing. And it's nicely striped, nicely detailed. Especially on the little toy gun. It was like a little water gun, which is the cutest thing. So of course you know the ink goes here if you don't know play the games. And then there's a nice detail on the hole. It's a nice orange lime green with like a dark green. And then the tip of it, same colors. It's really detailed, really nice, nice shine to it. And then we also have now these are like the little shoots that come out. So let's say you want to use this. 
this is meant to do that. So it looks like it's being shot out, which is really, really cool. There you go, that's a bit better. So see, it looks like, it just basically looks like she's shooting out her meat. Oops, that sounds really weird, kind of. Well, not really, it's just platoon, so it's okay. <laughs> but yeah, I really like that cool, I like the cool effects with the paint that they gave. And I love how you can make them do a lot of motion with their hands and legs. And then you also have her little two little, this is for my other inkling, the one I really like. Two little handguns here. Still really, really cute. I love the detail on these. It's a nice pink. Sorry, I want you guys to be able to see everything I'm talking about. That nice pink, black tip, a nice silver. It looks like, it's like a metallic silver here. And then it goes to a green handle, black again. And again, when you're ready, you just see the front there. And you put it in. And there you go. She's shooting on her ink. She sh Why in my head does that sound way sexual? I know, I'm sorry. I am a mature 25 year old, so I <laughs> should not be saying things like that. Anyway, um, we also have, this is, I was wrong, I thought these were like little mines you throw when you play the game, you get a certain gun, they have certain little mine throws. This is actually the headphone jack to wear for um, this girl, for her here. Because for other one, there's actually, you just easily just put them on. This one, you gotta take these off and then put these on. So, you gotta do a bit more controlling with that girl. Which is really cool. I'm glad they did that for both. Then what you saw earlier, the roller, the best weapon in the game, in my opinion. So, you got, it's huge. It's really big. It's size of my hand. That My hand's pretty big. So, that just shows you the size of it. Here's the, I love the details, so when you're gonna position it, let me show you. So when you want it to be rolled down this way, it looks like the ink is building up here. So it, it really looks like when she's running and rolling it, it's like the ink's building up. So it's like roll, roll, and the ink's on the bottom building up. So I'm kind of repeating myself, but I'm trying to have you guys understand what I'm trying to say. Which I really like that. And I think it's a really nice touch. And the color is so pretty. The nice purple handle and then the ink canisters there and the grip handle there. It's just really good detailing here. Then we have the ink splat. So we have one here, another one here. These are kind of for the inkling boys that we saw. So they're just little transparent splats you use to pose your other inklings in. And, uh, oh, let me go over the hat a bit more because I didn't really go over that that much. So here is we have the little crown. I think this is Pearl's brand. And then there's another little marking at the bottom. And then I showed you the engraved part in the back. The, de the detailing on the hats is really nice. You guys can hear that but it's like really detailed they really did a good job on here it really looks like a knitted like baseball not knitted but a really nicely realistic baseball hat which i really like same for the beanie it has a really good material on it same thing at the bottom it has a little cute little like um pin on the side which is really cute detailing i love the beanie i wear beanies like all the time and i would wear that beanie if it was real if it is real, I should have bought it already. Or if it is, someone let me know. So I would wear that every day. Okay, so now we're going to put them in poses so you guys can see what they look like. And I'll be right back. This was a son of a bitch. Okay? This is the hardest set of figments I've ever had to deal with. So these are just out the box right now. But I legit, I've never had to do this before. When I get figments and enders, I don't need instructions. Okay? I just, you know, it's one A B, one two. You just, you just instinct. You just put put it how you want, and that's it. 
this is legit. You actually have to look at instructions to get these girls posed exactly how you want them in the official photo. So there's a few things I have to say. First of all, they're adorable. They are absolutely the cutest little figmas ever. Um, thing is though, so when I was just saying earlier, you know, oh, what don't you just have an extra face plate and then, you know. So apparently, it only is one face plate. What you have to do, so this is the only face you will get in this, right? So what you do to make sure the eyebrows match the girl, there's a piece in the back. You just pull this out. So now she has no eyebrows. But you kind of see what I'm talking about? There's no eyebrows there. So what you have to do, there's two little pieces here. And this is what changes the color of those eyebrows. So if you want her to have this face plate, you gotta get the orange piece, turn it around, and you just plug it in. So it has to go facing this way inside. You just plug it in, and like that. That's now her color. So that's for that. Another thing, you know what I asked what this was for? Apparently this is a tool to move their eye sockets around. So you know how I have her facing forward, right? I can use this little tool here to make both eyes go this way, go up, down, any direction I want to create. Which is the amazing part. But this also, to me, is a bad thing at the same time because if you don't have a sturdy not grip but like a sturdy hand if you shake a lot if you're sweating sweaty hands you know it's hard to maneuver the eye exactly the right direction you want it because if you move it too far to the left too far to the right you're gonna have a derpy squiggling you know you're gonna have some messed up inkling here and that's the problem even if you put i'll show you guys how it's done but like when i was trying to figure out what this was and i was messing around with uh, this one even if you put it in, get it the right way you want it. When you pull it out, you're gonna, you're bound to move. You're bound to move that eye back out of the place or position you want it in. So that's not. A, I mean, that's really cool how you can have that much detail to move around the Figma. But I really wish they would have just gave you extra face plates like they do with an Android. It would have been a lot more simpler. But then it probably would have been more, way more money because you're paying for all this accessories without. You know, the other one. I mean, we paid quite a bit. I mean, for two figures, I can't complain. They're, it's worth the price. In all honesty, for what I paid for these, for Kiana, it was worth it. But for me to have to take the whole head apart, turn her face plate around, put this little piece in, adjust the eye exactly how I want to create her looking a certain way, and for me to have to pull it out and try to readjust every time I mess up, you're gonna get too frustrated with this. You're not gonna wanna, you know, deal with it. You're just gonna want in her standard form like how she came in the packaging. So, I mean, unless you're a patient person, you know, that's probably no problem. But for someone like me, if I'm doing it like three times and I can't get it, I'm just like, forget it. You know, at that point, I'm not gonna deal with it. Then this is not, then again, this is not mine. This is Kiana's, so this is her thing to deal with. All right, so this is the first inkling we're gonna go over so like let me take her off the base so you guys can get a better look of how I hold her now there's a few things um, I'd have to say that I don't really like about this oh, sorry ignore my nails but her face is really nicely detailed the only thing I don't really like or would wish they would have done and it probably just my preference but I like in my figures a lot of hair movement like I can move the hair to a certain angle and make it show like you know like more uh, expression in the movement she's doing this I can't do anything I can only move I can only do this I can't you know there's just nothing here so I have to angle her a certain way and it's gonna be hard with her holding her gun in certain positions I'm sure it's just it's just it, to me it's just not that good especially with the long hair it's it's really troublesome unlike this one here it's short it's not in the way of anything it's perfectly fine 
So this one I kind of wish I would have at least maybe put like maybe an extra um, joint or something here to make her hair move out the way a little easier. But I mean besides that, that's the only problem I have with this one in general. So let's go on with the detail with her hair color. The hair color is really nice. It's really smooth. No paint chips on mine. Pretty nice paint job. The spots of her uh, ink here. Not ink, but her ink clean. And then we have her shorts here. Her cute little shorts. The standard shorts you get when you default in the game. Or if you choose that. Then her cute little t-shirt. And then, let's see. See, again, I have to. It's hard to move her head. Okay. Then they have the ink canister that holds all her ink, of course. It's really detailed on top is a red button. Oh, you can't press it, but a red light button here. Then this hole here is where you put, put excuse me, her little joint piece in here. I'm pretty sure that's just going to be the make room for the other ink splats or things like that there. Then going down, we have her tennis shoes, which I think is like the best detailed out of almost the whole thing. There's extra joint there, so you can point her toe up, you can point her toe down. And her laces are pretty blue colored. I love the color of her shoes. But she also has her knee joints here, fully expendable. You can rotate her heel all around, her leg all around. And her arms go up, down, her wrists, complete circles. That's really all you could do with her with how her hair is positioned. And then that's practically it for this one. The next girl, oh god. Next girl, look at her back here. We got my babe. This is the character that I really wanted. And it sucked because the only way to get this character was to get the DX version. I didn't care for the one I showed you earlier. She wasn't my favorite. The one that really caught my eye was this one. And she had the best stuff. She had the cute beanie. She had the hat. She had the freaking roller, which is my favorite weapon in the game. So I was literally trying to get just this, but I wasn't going to pay an extra 50 some dollars just to get a character I didn't care for. So I just kind of looked past it. I was like, as Kiana has it on her shelf, you know what? I can just go and just admire her on her shelf. Totally cool. Everything she has as she comes with is practically just everything I want. I love the color. This is the color I think I have in the game also. I love the color, her clothes, her accessories, everything about this one is amazing. Okay. So again, the joints. So we can go out. Arms can go up. Can't really go too much higher with the hair piece. Maybe if you do it behind her head, a bit higher. Then down, across, joints, all the way around. Down again. This t-shirt is a cute, a cute. It is adorable. And this one is the shorts and skirt standard default you can get. I never like this one. I always go with the leggings or shorts. Then the tennis shoes here. I love the color. Um, the design, I prefer the other girls more. But besides that, it's, you know, really cute. Then her face play is smirking, which I think is adorable. And then going behind, she has her ink canister. It's getting a little too. She needs to fill that ink up. And I love the different style. Hers, what we saw earlier, two different colors. Hers is a green with a light green on top. And hers is like just a clear all around. She has like a little cover up on that button up top. And the frame or rim around is gray and black. Her backpack color. Sorry, if you guys can't really see this. There we go, a little better. It's kind of metallic silver here. Then it kind of goes to a burgundy here on her shoulder straps. And then her shoes here, blue all around. A little bit like an orange tag here, and then a black arrow going down. And then the bottom, again, beautiful. Her same for her, you could point the toe up, you could point it down. Oh, and also almost forgot to add, I believe these ones are the boys. Because I know they released um, 
the version of their they haven't been out yet but they announced there's gonna be those two figments of the girls there's gonna be two figments of the boys as well and I can't wait to see how they look I don't think Kiana's gonna get them she really prefers the girls look more and we're back guys so I have a lot to say um, about these figments a lot I've kind of just covered a little bit already but I think there's a little bit more to be said or a bit more so for one um, where do I even start okay the one that I said that I love the most you know baby girl over here so to put on this hat the hat and her beanie what she's wearing now so to put this on, sorry, to put this on, right, nice detail and everything. I'm going to go first, okay, for um, to keep this in order, I'm going to go over, all right, I'm back, sorry, I couldn't get it out of my bare hand, I need something else to pull it out, because my hands are freaking getting sweaty, okay, so you may not be able to see this, it looks like I'm flipping you guys off, but I'm not, there is a little plastic you can barely see it on my camera it's like a little T that plastic thing here that is used to attach the hat now as you see you could just you know place it on but there's a little indication inside the hat and the this little plastic piece that I showed earlier is supposed to go in here but basically that bottom end is supposed to you're supposed to pull her face plate out a bit and put it down all the way so the hat can securely go all the way on. Because any kind of movement it's it's not you know held on at all. Same for this hat. You gotta put it on the little plastic in between those wedges and place it on. So like for this hat, I mean you can just kind of do whatever, but again, you see how easy it is to come off? That's really annoying there. I I mean, I, I don't know, I can't, this, I'm, I'm kind of glad this isn't mine, in this aspect, because that is really annoying, having to pull it out, and it's really hard to get this little thin plastic in here, and sometimes if you don't put it in all the way, it will just fall out, the hat will fall off and everything. Two, again, so back on her, the roller you're not gonna get it or maybe I just put it on wrong you're not gonna get it exactly like what the picture shows here picture showing this where she holds it above her shoulder in a good angle and everything I was not able to do that you can take off however this whole bar here this whole thing comes off but that is used to pose this inkling with it. So it looks like she's rolling it on the ground. But I mean, I, I tried and I just couldn't get it on properly. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. But that's, to me, it's not really good in that aspect. But besides that, that's the only problems I have with her. Holes here. You can barely see it, but right here, that's where the little splats kind of go. So you just get a foot. It kind of looks like she's standing on her paint, which is really cool. I like that. It's just, there's two little eyeballs. Ah, oh, God. Okay, so you see her eyes there. Turn it around. There's little holes. What do you use? this piece so this piece here you just get it put it in there and you see you it's gonna be kind of hard for me to show this but you see you kind of move it any way you want I'll just move the heads a bit easier. but you see that little tools help maneuver her eyes and position so if you want a cross-eyed inkling you can get a cross-eyed ink, at least for the figmas I had, at least. Um, my figures, fig figures, <laughs> figmas, you could see on my uh, my figure 
collection account. I don't own too many, just enough of the characters that I actually really like. Nothing crazy crazy. 